Well hello everybody, welcome to Chef's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make something called Welsh Cheesecakes. Uh, again these are a little cake rather like the London cheesecakes that have no cheese in them at all. They have a pastry base with some raspberry jam and then a little sponge type cake filling goes into the pastry case. Very easy to make really and I got a suggestion from my sister Margaret and but I looked at a few recipes and I, the one I'm doing is based on one from Mrs Beaton in the um, 19th century uh, in her cookbooks. So uh, quite straightforward and I'll go into the ingredients and for the pastry which is very basic I simply have 200 grams one and a third cups of plain flour I have 100 grams, seven and a quarter tablespoons of unsalted butter, which is very cold straight from the fridge. I have uh, 60 grams to 75 grams, four to five tablespoons of ice cold water and a pinch of salt. And then for the cake, I have 56 grams, four tablespoons of softened unsalted butter. I have one medium egg, which would be large in the USA, 56 grams, which is a quarter of a cup plus one teaspoon of caster sugar, 84 grams, which is a third of a cup plus three and a quarter tablespoons of plain flour. I have 15 millilitres, a tablespoon of milk, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then as an optional extra, I have the zest from about half a lemon and that's just to give a little bit of flavour to the sponge. So uh, the first thing to do is to make the pastry and I'm going to make the pastry uh, in the bowl of my uh, immersion blender processor. So I've put the flour into the bowl and I'll add my salt and then the ice cold butter as well. And I'm just going to stir the butter around to get it coated in the flour. You could do this by hand of course, just rubbing the butter into the flour, rubbing it between your fingertips. And so I'm going to process that until the mixture turns to like a fine bread crumb. And that's a nice fine texture now. So I'm going to add in uh, maybe three tablespoons of the water and I'll just process that to see if it starts to come together into a dough. I can add a little bit more water if I need to. Just going to add just a drop more water and that's easily formed into a dough. So uh, I've tipped the dough out and I've just used my hand to squeeze that together into a smoother dough and I'm going to roll it out 
to the thickness of about a one pound coin, an eighth of an inch, or three millimetres. And with that rolled out like that, I'm going to cut it out into um, nine millimeter rounds, which works out at three and a half inches. And uh, I'm going to then line, put the, the pastry into this bun tin or patty tin to line the base of each of the 12 holes if I get to 12 that is and re-roll the pastry as necessary. And as I'm lining this tin, I should say that I have my oven preheating at 190 Celsius that's 170 Celsius with the fan, 375 Fahrenheit, ready for these to be baked. So I've rolled out the pastry and filled uh, the bun tin or the patty tin. If you don't have one of those, you could uh, potentially do it in a muffin tin, but maybe only uh, fill line the, the muffin tin half to three quarters with the pastry and then you put the, the filling into that. So I'll set that to one side for a minute and we'll go on to make the uh, filling. So as we go on to make the filling, I should say that I'm also going to use about six teaspoons of raspberry jam, about half a teaspoon for each cake. I didn't mention that in the ingredients. So what I'm going to do is to put my sugar and my butter into a bowl and I'm going to cream those together and again I'm just going to use my um, immersion blender to do that And that's good enough like that. And I'm going to add in my egg and my lemon zest. And I'm going to uh, mix those until they're all combined. And that's good like that. So the final thing is to add the flour and the baking powder and then the milk. Um, and first of all I'm going to put the baking powder into the flour and I'm going to give that a stir around. And then I'm going to add that into the mixture and I put about half of it in and just fold that in like that and then I'm going to add the milk and mix that in
and then the final amount of flour and that mixture looks quite good So then it's time to fill the pastry cases. And for that, I'm simply going to take a small amount of jam and put it into the bottom of each one. And then I'm going to spoon my cake mixture onto the top and push it, push it down, dividing it e evenly or equally between the 12 pastry cases. And with each of the 12 pastry cases filled, I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for between about 16 and 20 minutes until the pastry cooks, the sponge bakes and rises and colours nicely and I can test it with a skewer to make sure that it's done. Then I take them out of the oven and allow them to cool down and I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the Welsh cheesecakes for 20 minutes and I thought they weren't quite brown enough on the top so I baked them for a further 2 minutes, so 22 minutes. And I took them out and left them for a few minutes then I transferred them to a wire rack to cool down. So this is what they look like and I've cut one open and I should say the amount of jam you put in is really up to you. Um, I think that amount there which is about half a teaspoon was probably good enough for me but these are not going to be overly sweet simply because there's no sugar in the pastry and uh, there's just uh, that 56 grams in the cake itself. So the, the raspberry jam is going to add to the flavour. So I'll have a taste of this one. Mm. It is very, very nice and I get just a hint of lemon in the cake itself but the the big flavour obviously is going to be the raspberry jam so the texture is nice because you get the the crunch of the pastry and the softness of the cake itself and then that raspberry jam so that's going to be it for this video and I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this video, so a link for this recipe, and I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.